guys and welcome back to another video on my channel, Nintendo Down Under. Do I have a story for you? This uh, special edition Zelda Ocarina of Time console, super rare. I had someone on my socials contact me and said, hey, I love Zelda. I'm a Zelda collector. I will give you $1,500 for this. And I said, thank you, but no thank you. I'm not selling, I'm a collector. About a week later, he came back to me and said, here, I'm going to offer you $2,200 for your console. Very tempting, but still no, because once I sell this thing and I hand it off, I may never ever be able to replace it ever again. Then he come back to me one more time, only a few days ago, and I was blown away. He said, look, I've got $3,000 with your name written on it right now. I will deposit it in your bank right now please can i have that special edition zelda ocarina of time special edition and to be honest yes i'm a hardcore full-on collector as you can see nintendo collecting is my passion i love to do it and three thousand dollars definitely tempted me i'm thinking far out three grand i could use that for so many different things would i ever get it off of that high again for that console i really had to contemplate it for a bit but then if i'd sold one thing then i might be tempted to sell other things so i can't be doing that so i said thank you again so much i hate to be the bearer of bad news but i'm just not looking at selling at this stage but three thousand dollars can you just Picture that for a second, guys. $3,000 for just one Nintendo console. But why $3,000 for this one? What makes it so special? I thought after getting extreme offers like that for this console, I really need to go into more depth about this. So I'm going to explain and unbox and tell you guys why this console is so special and why I got that crazy offer of $3,000. So I want to show you guys why. Why is this $3,000? What makes this so special? Well, first of all, it's Zelda. That's the first point I want to get right there. Why I unbox and take this out. And by the way, I haven't unboxed this thing in years. I haven't taken out the protective case in years. Um, so, yeah, I can't exactly remember what is all inside this thing. But we'll find out now. But yes, uh, it is a Zelda a console. And Zelda was already so popular and is in such demand in most forms of Nintendo collecting. So when you get a special edition, only 500 to 1,000 of these made in the world, you can see why this could be pretty special. So the console comes with a sleeve. So it's not a pure green uh, Nintendo 64 Ocarina of Time. It has a sleeve over the top. So we shall gently, gently take the sleeve off so you guys can have a see inside. But here is the sleeve. So what comes with this is what makes this uh, unique is yes, it was a promo Nintendo 64 in Belgium, in Europe, if you don't know where Belgium is, and it came with this code and a letter inside. You get that letter and put the code with the letter, send it off to uh, Nintendo or wherever it was, I can't remember or don't know exactly, and you get a Feel Everything uh, promo pack, which includes a VHS tape, I think a promotional VHS tape, plus a copy, free copy by the way, of a Super Mario 64 game. So that's the stuff you get when you do the stuff inside. Um, but the sleeve, this part here is what's collectible. This thing here, just this little bit of cardboard, this cardboard sleeve, oh shit, almost dropped it, is exactly what uh, people are after. You can see this one is very flimsy. Uh, you know, it's not mint or perfect by any means, but there's really, I've not seen a perfect minty one of these out there. Ones I have seen a little bit worn and uh, wear and tear, um, but where there's only 500 plus made of these in the world, you can see why um, that it's hard to find a minty one or find one at all for that matter. So yes, that is the main part of why this is so expensive, so collectible. Um, but in terms of the Nintendo 64, this is just a very uh, beat up, old looking Nintendo 64. Bit sun faded on the side, a little bit sun faded on the back. 
um, but we'll open it up inside to see if there's any letters or anything that comes with this that's still here. I'm pretty confident that there's not a letter inside this that you can send off to Nintendo to get your free copy of Super Mario 64, but we'll still open it just in case. I missed something all those years ago. But yes, as you can see, at least inside is quite complete. The box is a bit, you know, how you going? It's not dented or anything, but it's just a bit sun faded and there's some tape marks here on the box. But in terms of inside the console, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. The baggies are there, which is fantastic. Fantastic to have the baggies. So we've got the baggie with the grey controller. We've got the baggie with the Nintendo 64. And we have the baggie uh, for the power pack as well. So really, really good. We've got some instruction manual here and there's something below it. What's below it? Ah, so no no letters or anything, but just another uh, AV cable in its baggie as well. So it's really good to see that, yes, the box outside is a little bit beat up, but in terms of complete inside, it might be missing like a, a Nintendo 64 promo poster, but it has all of the baggies and goodies inside, which is really good um, to know that it's nice and complete inside, which makes the value a little bit better, a little bit good, but unfortunately, the letter that should come with this is not here. And that does not surprise me as well. Because whoever purchased this back in the day in Belgium, the 500 people that did get this console would absolutely grab that letter, fill out the form and send it off. So for anyone out there to have that letter still would be extremely rare. The odds would be completely against it, I'd say. I'd say... Uh, I'm going to call it now, but there's no more of those letters out there to get your free Super Mario 64 because they've all been sent in and they've all been cashed in for that game. But if one does pop up, how good would that be, guys? Like, that would be so amazing, so good. But So this is why, basically, it is worth the $3,000. It is. Well, is it worth that? Because willing, what people are willing to pay for it. But that person was willing to pay three thousand dollars, so you can say it's around about the mark. Now, it's basically yes, Zelda. Only five hundred of these made, and it's not just Zelda. It's Ocarina of Time. Zelda. Ocarina of Time is the best game ever made. Not my personal favourite, by all means. But if you go on any top ten list in the on YouTube right now of games you can pretty much guarantee that this will be number one even in today's age. It is still number one, which is a fantastic achievement for this game and the creators on the Nintendo 64. So yes, Ocarina of Time, Zelda, only 500 of these are made, and also it's a Nintendo 64. And Nintendo 64 is, in terms of Nintendo collecting, is probably the most popular Nintendo collecting. I'd say, I'd say Super Nintendo is right behind it, but in terms of color and games and different things you can get, Nintendo 64 collectible uh, is definitely up there. So I hope you've got a bit of information on this, guys, because, yeah, it's super exciting. And it's a shame I don't have the letter, but I'm not sure anyone ever will. We also need to talk today about the Monster Hunter Nintendo Switch Special Edition console, which is being released uh, in March, which got announced yesterday. Well, I got announced for me yesterday here in Australia that we are officially getting it. First, it was Japan and wow what a beautiful looking console if you haven't seen it yet go check out the Monster Hunter Special Edition Nintendo Switch Plus the Pro Controller which looks absolutely amazing I am a hundred percent guys a hundred percent getting those things plus the Monster Hunter Special Edition uh, game as well so I'm gonna have in March a massive unboxing it's gonna be my biggest and best ever unboxing I've ever done because I'll be unboxing the special edition Monster Hunter Nintendo Switch I'll be unboxing the special edition Monster Hunter Pro Controller and I will be unboxing the special Special edition uh, Monster Hunter game which comes with its bits and bobs in one video. That's my probably biggest unboxing I've ever done and I'm so excited for that. I've already pre-ordered it. 
and I cannot wait for March. That's going to be so good. And if you've seen that already, what are your thoughts on that? Will you be getting the Monster Hunter uh, Switch or the game or the Pro Controller? So many cool things. And 12th of February, which is only two Fridays away, guys, two Fridays. I'll be unboxing the red and blue Nintendo Switch, the Mario one for the 35th anniversary. Cannot wait for that. A full, clean, different color Nintendo Switch. Um, so exciting. I can't believe this early in the year we're going to have two, two Nintendo Switches to unbox. Um, yeah, super excited for that. So please keep an eye out for that video in a couple of weeks' time. And in March, keep an eye out for that super awesome unboxing day. Oh, I cannot wait for that. It's going to be so, so good. But what did you think of the Ocarina of Time? If you've got uh, offer I did of $3,000 on that console. Would you sell it? Would you keep it? Would you be tempted? Um, I'd love to hear your feedback because it got me thinking for a while, you know, uh, when things aren't for sale, really everything's for sale. If someone comes with you for a stupid price, someone said to me right now, here's a million dollars for your collection. Well, so here you go, here's the collection. So everything is always for sale and things tempt you. But uh, yeah, it was just a crazy offer and it made me need to share that console with you guys today. And if you haven't already guys, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Nintendo Down Under. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Nintendo Down Under. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care.